Welcome back, guys. So today we will install the ADXL345. Uh, in the last video, we have set it up the, um, the probe, the induction probe. Uh, I'll show you how to configure the induction probe. And today we will try to install the, the module uh, ADXL345 accelerometer. <coughs> so for this, I have made a small support here to place the the module. This is the module I ordered. Okay. <coughs> As you can see, it's an ADXL three four five. You have a little schematic here. Okay. I will respect this and put in in the same direction on my axis. If it's an X, we will work right and left. So I will place this in this position for the X. Okay. I will try to respect this. Um, the pinout for for this board. Um, this this is not for big three tech, so uh, I have to find out the pinout, the correct pinout for my for this board. The pins, the description pins that are in the manual are not the same, so I did have to find them how to to connect them. Uh, and for that, I have made a, a small schematic that I can show you. I placed the schematic on my my GitHub. It's free for everyone to check out. Repositories, Mantem 4P. In here, you have ADXL connection diagram. So I respect the colors I have in my cable, okay? Um, this first part is the one that is on the Big Tree Tech manual for the, the accelerometer. They sell this, this version here. Um, but I ordered this one locally here in Portugal, so it's faster to, to get to me. Um, so this is straightforward. You can respect the colors. I did try to find a cable that have more or less the same colors. I don't have the pink one, so as you can see here, I have changed for a brown. Okay. On the on the left, you have the SPO, SPI one. It's where we're gonna connect the um, the module. But please take a look at this. At the two first pins are one are five volts and the other and the other is ground. The last two pins, one is three point three volts and another is ground. For me, my 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 module supports from three point three to to five volts. Okay, I have connected to three point three, but I I can easily connect to five volts. No problem there. But I know that there are some some modules in the market that only support 3.3 volts. If you will connect to the Manta, take a look to to these pins because otherwise you will you will broke something. Okay, so avoid that. You have there the schematic, so you can refer to the correct pins by the colors. You can understand what 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 pin is what, um, and connect directly to your. To your module, you have this on my my GitHub page, so I will let the the link on the video description. If you want, go there and download the file or check the file. Okay, so for that we are good. Let's connect the the module. So the SPI is over here. Okay. Let me plus three volts is there. By the way, 
I made this 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 connection here. I have used two D pawns connector for three three pins each. Okay, and I glue together, letting the um, the release pins to the outside, in one side and the other. This way, I can swap the pins if I if I like. Okay, everything is connected. The Z axis, we will use the Z axis. Sorry, the X axis. Uh, we will use the X axis for this this demonstration. So let's boot up the board. Booting up. Okay, it's already up and running. <coughs> So the configuration file is the same from the last video. Okay. I have changed from the the name of the configuration file we, we have we are were using before in copy the, the content to the print configuration file. <laughs> because you using the um, the, um, the module you can save later you can save the data directly to the file and, and that data will be available directly on this file. So that was the reason. Okay, so in here, I have create this commented text just to know where I will place the information for ADXL. And now <coughs> we go to the, um, We go to the measure resonance in the Clipper website. You can find this in the Clipper website, installation, configuration, resonance, compensation, measure and resonance. Okay, in here is where we're gonna find the, the information to install the Clipper, Clipper, sorry, the, um, the module. We go down, you have here all the information to connect to Raspberry Pi. We don't have a Raspberry Pi because this is an integration module, so we don't need that. This is all configurations for the Raspberry Pi. So here, we will use the configuration. So we need this function here. MC, uh, sorry, MCU, we don't need MCU because we don't use the second MCU directly from the Raspberry Pi. We need this, this function here, ADXL, Three, four, five. But um, Big Tree Tech already tell us this information. We just need to go to the manual, page sixteen, and you have here all the information. If we copy, I've closed the website. Go to your print config. You can put this code anywhere. Be, be careful because I don't know if this will happen to you, but once you copied directly from the, um, the PDF, you get some spaces and this will throw an error. Okay. We are good now. So we have this part of the configuration, the DXL. We also gonna run a resonance test, so you can copy this. 
we're going to test the, the the module the DXL three four five. So for B in for this machine, I'll put zero zero zero. The A, it's X, Y, and Z. So I only have X, okay, on this machine. And since I only have X, I have to to refer to to the size of the size of my X. I will point this is to point where you want the, the resonance test to, to run. So if you know the coordinates to the center of your bed, you will place it here. Uh, after you home the machine, you run the test and it automatically goes to these coordinates. Uh, for me, I only have one X, so here this 19, this is 1947. Okay. For me, from middle of this machine will be 47. Okay, so we are good here and we can save and, and restart. Let's see if we are okay with the code. We are, no errors. So now, now we must test the, um, the connectivity between the um, between the um, the machine and the module and if i'm not wrong we will find that information no right here there we are okay so we're going to test the um, the connection to check if the setup is correct you have to run this 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 code this piece of code here accelerometer query you can copy this go to your console let's clear all this information and let's run the code okay so we have some data here this means that is working okay this is working uh if you don't get any data here or an error you probably have something uh that is not connect correctly so it can be a pin uh, that is not all in or some bad connection you have to check all that um but yeah if you have everything correctly connected this means that the the board was able to communicate directly with the with the ADXL. Okay, so we are good here. Um, now, if you go a bit down, measure the resonance. So this is what what we want now. We want to test and see if the um, if the module is working properly. So for that. And we only have one axis, okay, one module for this axis. So they they tell you here that you can run the test resonance here. So let's copy this. Let's go to the console. Sorry, we have to home first, but it will inform you. I will do, I will show you. There it is. You must home first. So. We have to home the x axis, okay. Console. Let's run now. Let me show you. So it's it's moving, but in the video you will stop watching the it, it for you it, it it appears that it will stop, but it's not stopping. Uh it's continue to work. So I will show you that in a sec. Okay, let me pass it to the, to the screen. As you can see, this is moving. Uh, it's making the test. This will go until 133 Hz. This will take a bit. Let's wait.
once this is complete we can come over here let me just check one more thing yeah we have not had it so you can also if you if the vibration is too hard for your printer you can uh, lower the hertz the default that is what we're running now it's 75 we have not placed this this part of the code if you want to reduce the um, the, um, the aggressive of the the test you can reduce to the value if the default is 75 they are putting 50 here so it's probably will reduce the the noise for me is more than than okay Then we can take a graph like this, if you like, to see exactly what the um, what the test results are, and we will do that in a second. You'll need to use this piece of code here. I will copy this and place on my notepad. Let's see if it is complete. Console. It's complete. So it has built the, the file, the CSV. You can confirm this file in here. You open Wins SCP. You go to the root of your of your board, then temp. And in here, it will generate this file, okay? Once we get this file, we can now try to make this graph over here. And for this, we are gonna copy the line. In this case, the first is for the X. It's what we're gonna do. Okay, this was test resonance. So for the test resonance, Let's copy this. Let's open Putty. You need to SSH your, your board. And you came to the website, you copy. You will copy this. This line, the, the X, now go to Putty and place it. This will take a moment to generate the file. Okay, it's done. So now, if we go to the um, WinSCP and refresh, we now have a PNG now here. Yeah, you know. So let me copy to my desktop. I can show you. And this is the result you have for for your graphic. This is not correct because, well, this is this is a small machine. This is not the the final machine. I have to redo all this on my final machine. Okay, this is what I have to do. But this was just to show you how to install the um, the ADXL. Okay, you can also see down here on Clipper website.
that you can slinger max mooding. Okay. It's here. Input shape auto calibration. So you can go here and do input shape auto calibration. To do this, you only need to use shape calibration and do, then say the axis you want. In this case, I only one. I only have one. Okay. Um, and from there, you can then um, do the auto calibration and save the configuration. I will show you that. And you you can go. Let's clear it is. If you go to the the exclamation mark here, if you place shape, shaper calibration, now axis equal to x. And it will start the same process. You can see it is moving. This will take a bit. Sorry. But yeah, guys, this is the. Um, this video is not to tell you how to configure the, the input shaping or the results of the input shaping, but to show you how to install the ADXL, basically. This is the main goal of, of this video, okay? Uh, some of you have a doubt on how to, to make the, the cable or to set it up. On Manta is this way, okay? If you have a Raspberry Pi, the manual that um, Clipper have, it's it's a great manual. Okay, you can follow that that manual, and and the results will come from there. But yeah, this is just to show you how to to install the um, ADXL three four five on on Manta M four P. One more sec, it's almost there. One three three is, is the max hertz. One forty, one fifty. on and 30 it's almost there okay so now is generating the um, the result it will wait just a bit Okay, it's done. So the last line it tells you to, to save the configuration. You can s use the save underscore config. Okay, but down here you can see all the options they grant you. Okay, everything is here. So all the results are are here. Recommend shape type X three hump underscore A. This is the type seventy four megahertz. Sorry, hertz. And the speed are here, acceleration 4000. So you have here the result. You can 
as they rec recommend no but as they say here you can do save underscore config and this will automatically save the recommended uh, that attention that this will save the, the type and the, the frequency but will not save the acceleration this you must place manually okay if you go now to the machine print config go all down this is the save we've done okay so the acceleration is not here of course you can copy this in place up there or you can place it here in this piece of code for example in here you can place it here and that way you can can set the values manually okay uh, but this was automatically done by the, the code I don't know if this is good or bad I have not tried it yet um, I, I think I, I have covered everything for the board and the sensors um, that we can do outside of the machine and now I will disassemble my, my old machine print some parts new parts I need for the machine um, and I need to design the, the case for, for this board and only then I, I will install this board on my, on my machine um, but yeah uh, I think everything was covered here if you have any doubts as usual please contact me on the video comments uh, don't forget you have the um, you will have the github link to check the, the pinout for the ADXL uh, and to do make the cable um, yeah it's all guys if you have any any questions please tell me something on the um, on the video comments Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.